What do you get when you cross a mad scientist, a scuzzy lawyer, and Academy Award winner Emma Stone as a creature? You get poor things. Stay tuned. Big news. Poor Things is the winner of four Academy Awards. How marvelous. Yes. Including Best Actress Emma Stone. It is exciting. Add it to your movie collection with exclusive bonus features. Poor Things, now on digital. Own it on Blu-ray today. Welcome to Celluloid Journey. My name is Art. Uh, we're going to cover film in this particular vlog. And I hope you will join me. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. The film I picked to start this vlog is the 2023 movie Poor Things, featuring Emma Stone playing Bella Baxter, the role that she won an Oscar for last month. Uh, that's one of the things that intrigued me as to wanting to watch this. And the other thing that intrigued me was my favorite movie of all time is The Bride of Frankenstein, 1935, uh, Boris Karloff and Elsa Lancaster. And this movie kind of takes me to thinking of what would have happened had the bride made it beyond the last seven minutes of the picture. And so that's what we have in this case. We have Bella, a child, if you would, in an adult's body. And we find out early in the picture that Bella jumped off of a bridge and killed herself. And Willem Dafoe playing, let me go back to my notes here, wonderful, playing Goodwin Baxter, um, brings her back to life. And so we start this movie with her being very childlike. And throughout the movie, she starts to mature at a very rapid pace. Uh, Willem Dafoe, great makeup, uh, kind of looks more like the Frankenstein monster than anything we find out. His character had been experimented on by his father quite a bit. So that was kind of a, uh, a weird proposition. Uh, eventually, Mark Ruffalo, who plays Duncan Wedderburn, the attorney for Goodwin Baxter um, decides he wants to take Bella on a European tour, more than likely to accomplish what is referred to in this movie quite often as furious jumping. It's a nice euphemism for sexual intercourse. Um, so we get a lot of that in this movie, probably to the point where I got exhausted watching all of it. I have my dog here and he's being, I'm keeping him quiet. So, and also, too, we the other major character, Rami Yosef, plays Mark McCandless, who's kind of a lab assistant and eventually wants to marry Bella. But Bella decides she needs to explore the world. So she and Duncan go off and travel. Um, very interesting color palette in this movie. A lot of steampunk inventions are in this movie. Uh, costuming was very Victorian. So that, those were kind of the good things I liked. But yeah, the uh, furious jumping got kind of old pretty quick. Uh, it's like Bella has an awakening with every encounter. Um, she learns to read the classics and, and learns to think uh, very independent thoughts. And like much to dismay of Duncan Wedderburn, Mark Ruffalo's character, uh, eventually she outgrows him and moves on um, again back to the furious jumping which kind of gets me i think when the director ran out of ideas he moved her into becoming a prostitute and then moved her into a same-sex encounter so that like i said that was probably more than i needed uh things to be aware of in this movie it is rated r uh, primarily for the sexual encounters uh, primarily for uh, very graphic nudity. Uh, there is very disturbing material in this movie, um, body parts, uh, animal experiments from Dr. Baxter that run around in the backyard and that was kind of kind of catches you off guard. It was funny. I will I will give the movie that much. I enjoyed it. Um, but I don't know if it's something I jump jump in front of the television to see it. I saw it on Hulu. Um, so it is it is playing on streaming services right now. Uh, what I hope for is that you look at the film and give me your thoughts. Uh, this movie does have a happy ending. Um, 
everybody gets what their their growth that they need and life is good for everyone in the movie so what did you think did you see it is it something you want to see um, i don't know but let me know in the comments below i would give this movie a rating of seven out of ten stars it was it was fairly decent but until next time this is art i will see you later